All right, excellent. Was with a busy house. Uh, it's noisy. This is the second attempt at this. Uh, of course, everybody's got something. Some question comes along or something comes up. If you have a busy household with kids, you know how that is. But I had to show you this cleanup. Look at that. That is a stellar day. And I don't mean I, I don't get the day to hunt. I mean, I just have, you know, either take a lunch here or before work or what have you. Look at this, though. I want to give you just a close-up and, and a clean-up of some of this stuff. Let's just look at these three first. Great artifacts, though. Look at this. Nice pieces. And I'll go right on to some of these. All these that we're looking at here, as well as uh, down on the bottom here and across here, they're all got to go. I got to get them in somebody's hands who love them and uh, who, who, want, who collect artifacts or want something from North Carolina. Remember uh, to put a shout out to me, get a PM or whatever, and I'll get you some of this stuff. This is awesome stuff. And uh, I find a ton, a ton. Look at this piece. That is an awesome artifact. And that's a big piece right here, guys. That is a big piece of rock. <sighs> Eastern bison. I guarantee that's what that was for. Look at this point. Little Morrow Mountain here. I did it with lights on today. No natural light anymore. It's getting later in the evening. All these at a rye light. Just missing little pieces and parts here and there. Nice pieces. Look at these two down here. This piece here is a piece of uh, a rose quartz. Yeah. Check that out, huh? And then some traditional pottery. North Carolina style. And then these. Keep picking them up. I did highlight this hammerstone on video. I wonder if I get a good look at it with this, with the light the way it is. It's a nice one. We've already seen that. And then there's another hammerstone that came in a little later. This was a cool piece. Number two, a cool piece because, as you can see there, don't know if you can pick it up too much. It's translucent. But look at that hammerstone. Look at that piece. Very cool. Smooth as can be here. You can see the wear around the edges. <clears throat> now that you know, now that I know what they're for and what they're using for, they're very cool. But look at this up here. The cream of the crop. Unbelievable. Let's take a, let's take a look at these things. Right here, Crystal Beach came in pretty strong today. It's a definite area. This point as well from there. Right next door to that is a place I call Sun Hill where I picked up this quartzite piece. It's nice. This older piece was one of the first pieces I found out early this morning at sunrise. That was on there. Then this nice piece here. Notch point. I love those. Picked up a Guilford Yuma. Then picked up this smoker piece of quartz. Whew. Look at that thing. Holy cow, right? And I know Rob's out there probably saying, man, they could work some quartz. Look at the base on this. Just a nice piece. I don't know if the light's picking up well, so I'm just double, double showing it just to make sure. Because I, I barely did look at that piece, huh? Got the focus on there. Just a sweet piece, though. Anyway, another piece of nice quartz. This is on video. Look at these things. And then another great one here, which I believe is a Hardaway. It's not actually broken. It's a. Uh, you can tell down here. It's made that way. Another mile mountain point. And then to finish, there was this smoking 
drill bottom base. It did have it going up with the small break there. Didn't film that. That's unique. Never found anything like that. But look at this. Just wanted to show you that. I mean, you got to take a look at that clean up. Mm. Nice stuff. It's just a blessing. And like I said, put a shout out to me because there's a lot here and I got to keep it going. I got to keep it moving. It's certainly not going to stop moving and collect dust. That is for sure. Look small and miss small out there. I hope you guys find stuff. Appreciate it.